Uh, my name's Roger Shepard, I'm from New Zealand and I live uh, here in Gure, Didisan, South Korea. In 2009 I came back to Korea again and I hiked more mountains and then the guidebook was published in 2010. In 2010 I decided to come and live in South Korea. I think uh, what really struck me most about Korean mountains was there were so many of them and uh, when you're up on the mountain ridge you can just see lots of mountains. So it's kind of like San no more San. Mountains are very beautiful, uh, but there was a connection with them, with the people as well. There's a lot of similarity from say, maybe like the Gyeongsan Namdo area up to maybe Pyongan Namdo, Pyongan Bukdo. But after that, once you get into Hamgyong Bukdo and Ryanggangdo, uh, it changes because it all becomes like high plateau escarpment like Kamagawa and Pektugawan. Well, I think the Pektudegan, uh, because it's the spine of Korea, okay, um, firstly it forms the Korean Peninsula. It's also the watershed of the Korean Peninsula, so all of Korea's major rivers are formed from the Pektudegan. I'd already spent many months, a lot of time already in North Korea. I'd already made books, I'd already done documentaries. Uh, clearly they trust me with my work and they understand that my work is about um, reunification or at least peaceful coexistence between North and South Korea using mountains as a theme for that. And I says, wow, I says to my colleagues, my North Korean colleagues, I says, this place is world class. Huh? You should really be bringing people here to hike it with backpacks sleeping in tents to get a great experience of that. So then they said, well, why don't you try and find some people to do that, all right? So I did. And so this year, just recently now, I returned with our four foreigners and together we spent five nights, six days trekking in the Peg to Gowan area, going to mountains no one had climbed before, at least no outsiders had climbed before. I dearly want the people of South Korea to go to North Korea and trek the mountains there. But I kept it in the back of my head that maybe I can help the South Koreans and the North Koreans uh, experience each other's mountains one day if I just keep doing what I'm doing. Most of them are in the mountains, uh, around campfires, uh, at the end of the day when we're drinking some sul. Sometimes we like to talk about tigers, do tigers still exist in North Korea? So some of the tales we had were always very interesting. I think one of the most um, important things I ever heard a North Korean tell me, and it was kind of out of the blue, as we say in English, I didn't expect it. He said to me, being divided as a nation was hard, but trying to be one is even harder. And I thought that was a pretty profound thing to say. The Peg to Daegan can be a connection of what it means to be one nation and one people. And I think it's something that the Korean people should use. Well, I hope it's, um, hope there are many more meetings after this one, because I think it will need many more meetings. I would like to ideally see some kind of talk go towards ending the Korean War once and for all, okay? And uh, I think that would be a massive step towards a change of direction on the Korean Peninsula.